Welcome Aquarius and Cross Watchers. This is your general love reading for September 16th through the 22nd. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading and it will not resonate with everyone. If it does not resonate with you, please check your moon rising and Venus signs. With that, let's begin. Starting off here with the Ten of Pentacles. This is having a lot of abundance. Um, happy wife, happy life kind of thing. Um, next to that, we have the Two of Pentacles, which somebody could have been juggling. He's balancing here. He's trying to get some balance or he's been juggling something. Next to that, the reason I say juggling is it comes next to the Seven of Swords. Some lying, cheating, and stealing going on here. Some deception, definite deception, juggling, juggling his Ten of Pentacles. Because next to that, we have the Nine of Pentacles. This is a single person. They're very abundant, and they don't need anybody. Uh, somebody could have been acting single and abundant with the Ten of Pentacles. These are Earth signs. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The swords are air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It comes next to the Three of Cups. Um, it could have been a third party. Because right next to that, we have the Nine of Wands being very guarded. Being very guarded about something. So she's, she's single or somebody could have been acting single and in a third party situation. And now somebody's very guarded about it. Someone's put a wall up, and they're not taking they're not taking any shit here. They're they're ready. This is the wounded warrior. They still got one wand left in their hand. There's there's eight on the ground. Next to that, we have the ten of swords. Somebody was backstabbed here. Someone's laying on the ground with ten swords in their back, guarded about that third party. Somebody acted single. There's a lot of deception, juggling that money. Now there's an ending. There's an ending here. There's two tens on the board. Tens are endings to something. Here we have regret with the five of cups. Somebody's mourning something or they're just having regret. They see these three spilled cups on the ground here, but there are two still up here. The two of cups are behind her. She's not even looking at them. Somebody's feeling stuck with the eight of swords. You're not really stuck. Um, the blindfold uh, could be tissue paper, but she's surrounded by swords. Um, it's all up in her head. She can get out of this. It's a choice she's making here to feel stuck in something, but having regret because of the, in the ending. Because possibly acting like they were single, juggling and deception. But he's looking at somebody from his past. He's wanting that. He's looking at a relationship from his past. This is somebody he's probably known since childhood. Could be a past life soulmate. Could be your ex. So feeling stuck and having regrets because of what he's done. And and that person was his ten of cups, which is his happily ever after. Probably had that ten of pentacles with her, but he was acting single and deceptive. Now he's looking at the past and the relationship that he had with his wife. This looks like this is a husband and wife card because uh, the queen of pentacles is usually the wife. The king of pentacles is usually the husband. But this is a very grounded, solid, stable person. So he's looking, he's looking at the past relationship with her. She was his two of cups. She was his ten of cups. She had, he had it all with her. But he was acting single and deceptive in a third party. Now he's at a crossroads. And he's trying to make a decision which way to go with this relationship. Because here we have the Hierophant. The Hierophant is Taurus. Where does he go with this relationship? He's looking at the past. He's trying to make that decision. And here... He's looking at the past again. What seeds were planted? Seven of Pentacles, looking at the past. Same with Six of Cups, past life or past uh, a past relationship. Making that decision about that relationship from the past. Because we have a Six of Pentacles here, which is uh, an equal give and take. 
but it doesn't look like there was an equal give and take. She's giving her pinnacle to this person, and this one's begging in the background. So this one got crumbs while this one was taken care of because he was acting single and deceptive. I was looking at that, figuring out that he has to come in with a message to her. You know, this has to be a grounded message. This has to be something that, that she's going to listen to. Because there's secrets here. The secrets with the moon, something that's been kept in the dark. About this deception that he's feeling stuck about in this third party playing like he was single when he was married. There was secrets there. Now he's coming in to offer her something stable that she can hold on to. This is the slowest moving night in the deck. He always crosses the finish line. He's coming in to give her some kind of an offer here. And it could be because there was a missed opportunity or it could be because uh, he was discontent about something. That cup's being offered there, but somebody's not even bothered to look at it. She might not be looking at this offer. She, she might not be satisfied with that. She knows something else is up here. So he's coming in to give her a cup, but I don't know that she'll take it. Gender, even though that's a man in the card, it doesn't matter. Gender, it, gender doesn't matter with these cards. So there's the offer of love that he's bringing in there. Is the offer of love right here with the Ace of Cups. But she's discontent about this love offer. And she's gone within. She's thinking about those three swords that were above her head and uh, the past. She's, she's gone within. She's got to heal something. And you have the emperor here. This person's an older person. He's stubborn. He could be a boss. He could be, um, he's older. He's stubborn. He's set in his ways. It's his way or the highway. He's a stubborn person. So he's gone within. That's a sign of Aries. Because there's a lot of fighting that went on here with the Seven of Wands, having to defend themselves against something. There's a lot of people coming at you with this. Had the, There was a lot of fighting here. And here's the Mistress card, the Queen of Wands. This is that very pretty. She is uh, well-spoken. She likes to be in the outdoors. She likes a lot of attention. She's a very passionate person. A lot of fighting with her. An ace of wands, a new passionate beginning. Wanting a new passionate beginning. He's wanting a new cup of love, and he's wanting a new passionate beginning, but he's very anxious about it. It could be because there's a lot of fighting with the third party that there's still secrets about. So this third party is not out of the picture. In this reading, she is not out of the picture. He's coming back towards his wife, but the third party is still in the picture. There's some anxiety. There's a lot of anxiety there. And want that new passionate beginning, but looks like he's fighting with her about it. That's all I have for you, Aquarius. If this resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Hey guys, make sure you check me out on Vimeo, Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon. If you book a reading with me, I will give you $10 off your first reading. Also, I'm going to give away a free 30-minute reading to a subscriber once a month. Hit the like, share, and subscribe button if you want a chance to win. With that, see you next week.